Asian coming in appears to have everything wrong with the eyes. We'll see about that. I don't believe that. And nurse is concerned. Okay, well, let's send them in. Okay. There. Hello there. Welcome to the eye exam room. I know I'm not your preliminary physician, but I am Dr. Naomi, the ophthalmologist today. Pleasure to see you, indeed. Yes. If you could just get yourself cozy and take a seat right at the chair, the high chair right there. Yeah, you should be a part of me to away from the Snellens chart that's right behind me, okay? And I'm uh, just looking at you right now. Your eyes look very inflamed and red. Is this normal or are you having this for the first time ever? Okay, I was just looking at your chart and the nurse had said that you complain that everything was wrong with your eyes, and do you agree with that? Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna check by myself, okay? Have you been sick in the past two weeks or had some injury to your eyes? No? Okay. Are you someone who wears contacts, perhaps didn't take them out, or maybe you didn't clean them well? No. And have you had your vision checked before? Yeah. And what was your vision? 2020. Okay. You have any problems with your vision now? You are, okay. And you said you haven't been sick. Okay, well, I'm gonna just take that myself, okay? Thank you, I'm just writing a bit of this down. Okay. I'm gonna get my gloves on now to start this exam, okay? And I'm gonna go through this quick. And when did your problems start? Just yesterday. Okay, what time? At night. And you came in for your appointment now as soon as you could. Okay, well, I'm glad you came soon. Because that's quite peculiar. And you didn't hit your head. Are you allergic to anything? Latex? Eye products? No, did you wash or shampoo your eyes on accident? No. Okay, I'm just gonna love myself. Okay, I'm just gonna touch your face. Is that okay? Any pain there? A little bit. Okay, close your eyes. Just gonna put a bit of pressure right there. Okay, it's going to put a bit of pressure. Okay, Brett, did that hurt? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get my pen light out, okay? I'm going to shine this in your eye if you could look at my nose. Not there, my nose. Okay. Peculiar, it does appear to be. Some things are off. Okay. Can you look at the light? White and my shirt, white. Okay, that's a bit off. Okay, so the light actually is just a white light, and my shirt and gloves are blue. Okay, I'm gonna shine that right there. Look right here. Can you follow the light for me? Yeah, no, no, look right there. Quickly just measure the diameter of your eyes with the light here. So, 
sit still for just a second. Okay. Look at my measuring tool. I'm just going to measure just about right there. It looks to be about like that, which is my goodness. Okay, your eye is reacting. Uh, not at all. This diameter doesn't be, be affected by the light. Let's try the other eye now. Shine the light right there. Okay, and then let's. you see. Okay. So I'm just going to first get on the first one right there. And what color is this? Okay. And what color is that? Okay. Red is blue. Let's try another one. What color is this? Okay. This is blue. Okay, it's red, so it's a bit inverted for a couple of the colours. What colour is this? Green. This is yellow. Okay, let's try this one. What colour is this? Neutral. Okay, this one actually is a neutral colour. So you see one. What colour is this? Okay, you're saying it looks perfect. Okay, that one actually is teal. A bit teal. Let's try this here. What colour is this? And this one is pink. Okay, so it appears that your colours are a bit backwards. I'm going to try a quick effect on you. Are you able to see that the colours are changing in front of your eyes? Okay, and can you name the colour here? Okay, in here. And what about the colour here? And what about the colour here? And here. And there. Okay, so it appears that some of your colour spectrum is off. And I'm wondering if that could be something due to um, a bit of perhaps an injury. Sometimes if you sleep at an inappropriate angle, you can actually hurt your brain. I'm going to turn the lights back on now. Um, no worries here. Yeah? I just quickly test your eye with um, some lenses, okay? And you have to let me know if it's better or worse. So I'm going to put a lens over your eye that's going to distort a bit of your visual field, okay? I'm going to ask you really carefully first, what does this lens do? It made everything red. Okay, it's supposed to be blue. So a bit of the colour spectrum is off. So it made it red, okay. And what does this one do? You see nothing at all? Perfect, that's good. And now let's move on to our tester lens. And what does this lens do? Nothing at all, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to just test your visual field with some lenses that we use for glasses. You let me know if it's better or worse. We're going to do the one, two exam. And you let me know is better one or two. So this is one. This is two. Two is worse. One is better. Peculiar because that's not your prescription. Okay, so this is one. This is two. Which one's better? One or two? This is one. This is two. One. Okay. I'm going to the stronger lenses now. Okay. Which is better? One. Or two, unable to tell. One or two. One or two, unable to tell. Okay, that's at a negative eight. Let's move back a little bit. We'll just better one or two. One or two. Okay, one. I'm going to move to a different type of lens here. Yeah, 
or two, which is better. Okay, and what happened to the visual field? A bit distorted, that's okay. So one or two. Two looks better. Okay, so what I'm noticing is we have a difference in perplexity with your convex and concave spheres. Okay, so what's better? One or two? Two. One or two? Two. Okay. So, what, I, what I'm adding with the uh, convex and concave spheres is one pulls away, so the image that's closer is a bit blurry. And for the uh, convex, it'll make the behind a bit behind me blurry. So it appears that your visual field right now is impaired because you see everything in one flat border. So I'm going to try the most strong convex sphere. What's better? One or two? Neither. Okay, let's try this again with a little bit of a lower. What's better? One or two? Two. One or two. Okay, so it's a bit of a peculiar problem here. Yeah. Just going to write something down. Don't need to be worried. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to figure this out. Okay, so looks like your eyes are having a bit of a diaphragm issue. Whilst you're seeing something quite similar to your eyes in the front as you are in the back, normal eyes have a focusing function. However, something's close to you at the front, behind you gets a bit blurry because you're lacking that. Okay, and then I'm going to quickly just your eyes with a magnifying um, plane field here, yeah, okay? I'm gonna just magnify myself here. Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick look inside your eyes, okay? And I am seeing that a bit of your eyes have a dysfunction, so it does appear to be something peculiar. I'm gonna get a bit up close again and just take a quick look into your eyes. If you could just look at me again, thank you. So you may have something that we've known as a particular eye problem that could be that could quite literally happen if you just sleep a bit funny. Um, the back of your eye can get disattached. It just can be removed from the attachment. But um, it seems something that's peculiar before where everything appears to be wrong. So one more time, I'm just going to take a quick sample of your eye. I'm going to send it to a laboratory. Okay, look at me. I'm just going to and the other eye. Send that to a laboratory just to make sure that there's no bacteria going on, and then we're going to send that in. Quick peripheral vision test, okay? Are you able to see the chart behind me? You are. Um, do you see any blurriness the farther that you go down? No, okay. Do you see the lead is getting smaller? You do. So, can you read the bottom line for me? Okay, you read that very fast. Is it able for you to see the bottom line very clearly? Okay, so what I think going on is going on here is that exact problem where we are seeing a perception of that. I'm going to give you a quick peripheral vision test, okay? Which hand is closer? Okay, and which hand's closer now? Can you tell? Okay, which hand's closer now? This one? Okay, not true. Which one's closer now? Okay, and which one's closer now? Okay, can you let me know when my uh, fingers get out of your peripheral vision? I'm just going to do a test, and by here you'd see my fingers get out of your peripheral vision, okay? Let's begin. Good. Okay. A little early. Okay. And now. And here. And here. And there. Okay, so I do see that most of your eyes have some problems. I'm actually going to keep you in and send you to the clinic, if that's okay with you. Does it appear that your peripheral vision appears to be off and we're going to do a reconstructive look inside your eye? Just a little bit. I'm going to call the surgeon down to go take a look here. I do think that we may have an a detached retina which could be causing all these problems, but I've never seen something where everything has been wrong, truly. Especially with the redness and the irritation to the eye. I do want to just double check on you, okay? We're going to get this figured out. No worries, okay? Just going to ask you sit here for a second and I'm going to call my specialist down. Thank you. And we're gonna get this fixed, no problems, okay? Just relax, and I'll be right back with a specialist. 